hello students welcome to the session so in the last session we have been seen about the introductory part of the ashtang yoga so what is the meaning of ashtang yoga so how many uh, different parts of the ashtang yoga are there and also like we have seen so how it has been divided into different stages so today we are going to learn about the first stage or the first path of the yoga that is the yama so which is giving respect for the others or the code of conduct so it tells about the spiritual path which is nowadays the people are suffering with the interpersonal relationship problems so when because of the absent of those respect where we are living in the society okay the social relationship is mainly important so which is mainly considering on the spiritual practice so it is really a uh, various it is creating a various problem so which is very we have to care it very carefully and also like those problems will try to provide the lot of anxieties so yama is also a key form of self perfection so the practicing of yoga soon engenders the supernatural power known as siddhi so as you continue with this practice the siddhi will occur in the energetic mental and emotional areas so whenever you are living in a society you should try to follow some of the rules and regulations where you can keep a beautiful good relationship so if you are not keeping that good relationship so you will be ending with lot of anxiety and lot of interpersonal problems so if you are practicing the yoga so which will try to improve your supernatural powers so which is known as siddhi so as you are continuing the practice so the siddhi will occur in the energetic so coming for the mental and emotional areas so if you are practicing the stronger these powers will become which can easily distract you from true goal of yoga so for example you may use your new found powers to manipulate the others and gain the personal advantage so being a rooted in yama is the only way to avoid straying from the path of the yoga so in in yama we have five different parts of yama so which are those five different parts so that is ahimsa satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha yamaha so ahimsa means non violence or doing no harm satya means truthfulness speaking the truth uh, and asteya means non stealing brahma means god charya means to change brahmacharya the change that results in the consciousness aparigraha non convectiveness and yama means the code of conduct or the social code of conduct so coming for the first one is the ahimsa ahimsa means non violence so as you all know the main thing which you should not do in the society is the non violence so it is means of manners towards all living creatures so you should try to respect all the living creatures it is if it is a mammal or the human being so we need to give respect for everything everyone so absence of all harmful intention or the thoughts to be followed on the three levels so you should try to follow in the three levels not to harm anyone that is one is the physical through the actions and verbal through the words and mentally through the mind also you should not think anything wrong regarding the others or the violence regarding the others so if you are following the same thing so you will you will be able to generate the love and compassion towards the all the living organism so ahimsa pratishtaya tata sannidho vairya thyagaha so ahimsa means non violence pratishtaya means fixed tat means that vairya means enmity 
tyaga means abandon or you can give up so the conclusion part of the first ahimsa shloka tells that once a condition of durable non-violence has been established all the enmity will be abandoned in your inversion that is the surrounding or the environment so it clearly tells that if you want to live peacefully so you should avoid the non-violence so you should establish avoiding the non-violence then there will be no enmity in your environment so ahimsa brings peace from others so it it tells that for one who more and more experience the natural inner peace of non-harming attitude others give up their conflicts or violence in return it is an automatic process which we have all felt when in the presence of truth non-violence person significance of ahimsa by vyasa so in all eight 18 puranas the sage vyasa emphasizes only two moral prospectors that is rendering service to the people is a merit and harassing them is a evil okay so in yes the vyasa who has written the 18 puranas tells that it has been emphasized by only two moral prospectors that is one is rendering service to the people is you will be getting the merit and if you are harassing them you will be providing with the evil so satya the fact you should understand the fact and you should accept the fact there is only one way then to accept it we try to hide the facts we do not accept the facts one lie requires many more lies to support so untruthfulness is all its various forms creating many types of unnecessary complications in life truthfulness is an absolute necessary for the unfoldment of reality so it tells that if you if there is a fact you should accept the fact so other than accepting the fact you cannot avoid it so you cannot hide it so you should go along with the fact and you should have a if you are telling lies they should it should have a lot of support for the lies and at the end of the day so you'll be ending up with the lot of lies okay and you'll be having a lot of complication in your life so talking nice things pleases all the people hence one should talk just like that why to act a misery while talking so satya pratishtayam kriya phala ashrayatva Satya means truthfulness, Pratishtayatam means the permanent, stable means establishing, Kriya means action, Phala means outcome, Ashrayatva means the foundation. So once the conclusion tells that once a state of truth has been permanently established, each statement will form a basis for the truthful, of, truthful result. So if you are perfectly truthful, so if you are not telling any lies, so you can permanently stay for a long term in the society as the basement the each and every statement which you have been telling will be truthful and it will give the proper result so thank you students for today's session so today we have been completed the in yama ahimsa and satya so in the next session we will be seeing the the other topics in the yama thank you